Hey guys, Jason. Uh, as I mentioned in my uh, video earlier this weekend about uh, about Miss Bossy, my sick hen, I also mentioned that uh, mentioned a Facebook page out there called Backyard Chickens, and uh, that's the reason I'm doing this video. Uh, I was going to show my nesting boxes and post it on that Facebook page. So uh, anyway, uh, this is the setup that I've got for my for my hens. Now, these are basically uh, vegetable bins. Uh, they're about ten dollars at Fred's. Uh, I'm sure you can find them at Dollar General, any dollar store. Uh, might even find them at Walmart. <clears throat> but they are uh, every bit as high quality as the little wooden boxes that you can get at Tractor Supply for for ten dollars. Uh, they're actually better quality, in my opinion. Uh, they uh, you can clean them with a with a pressure washer. Uh, you know, just uh, they they just they're the best and my hens they love them uh, I started out with 10 of them in my uh, hen house as a uh, as being new to uh, chickens a lot of people will uh, will will make that mistake and say well I've got 10 hens I need 10 nesting boxes well they'll all wind up fighting over the same nesting box things have actually gotten a lot better since I cut mine down to uh, just four nesting boxes for my 10 girls uh, a lot less standing around pacing and waiting for one box they'll actually use all four boxes now uh, as opposed to just sitting there and just pacing and pacing and pacing until or trying to get three girls in one box uh, they'll actually use different boxes now I don't know what it is about chickens but they uh, they all want to lay in the same box but uh, but like I say I got these things at uh, Fred's here in Alabama uh, and what what you do with them is they're interlocking the uh, the handles lock. Now the lower ones the handles fall in on. They've got a groove, and the uh, groove locks them together like so. And then the handle falls over and locks them together like this. Now what I've done with mine is I've actually screwed them to uh, two by four that's running along the wall. Just the top box, not the bottom. I've never had any problems with it before. Something else I've done is all this was just holes like so. And uh, I took and cut out a little stop sign set up so I can gather the eggs without getting into the hen house. So uh, give me just a second and I'll uh, take you over to the uh, hen house and show you how it's actually set up. All right, well, we're here at the chicken bunker. Uh, I've got, uh, there's a door right here that I don't use anymore. I've put a, uh, put a roost in front of it when I took the other nesting boxes out. And then I had a couple of nesting boxes on the other side that I don't use anymore either. I left the four that I do use right here at, uh, at this door. And uh, basically, you know, you step over here. Drop the door down. Collect your eggs. Now I can't take all the credit for this. I I actually found this uh, this uh, vegetable bin nesting box idea on YouTube, a channel called Michigan Snow Pony. Uh, she's uh, she's got a fine little little homestead set up going at her place and uh, so that, that's where I got the idea but uh, but anyway works real good for me and uh, my girls seem to love it too so y'all take care see ya